Hey guys, how's it going? And today I'll be teaching you about the if not command. This is your eighth lesson, I believe. Okay, so the if not command is actually kind of hard to explain, so I'm going to show you an example. I'm actually going to be teaching you how to make your own password protected batch file with the if not command. So let's get started. First off, uh, actually set up a basic batch file like this. Okay, so let's ask it for our password. So set slash p, and I'm going to name the variable for the user input uh, protection equals enter password. So what this does is it asks, it lets the user enter something, anything they want. So if I run this right now, it'll on the screen it'll just say enter password. Then they could type anything they want. So now let's process this data. So I'm going to use the if command. If protection, the variable we just used, equals 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 uh, hi, go to correct. So the password is going to be hi. So now let's use the if not command. So if not protection equals equals hi go to incorrect so what this does is it asks you this line just asks you to uh, enter the password and this processes it right here so if your uh, what you type in uh, says hi it'll go to the marker correct which you never set yet and then if it's anything but hi it'll go to incorrect so if it's something like by or just some random letters, it, it'll process this command. So this command is only processed when um, they actually type in hi. If they type in something completely different, it'll just go to use this command. So it'll go to incorrect. So that's what the if uh, not command does. So let me set the markers correct and incorrect. And let me set the actual words for it. Correct pass pause and exit now we put in the exit command so it'll never get to the incorrect part because you don't want it to say correct pass and then say incorrect pass so now uh, let's actually put CLS right here so when we type it in it'll just say correct pass so now for the incorrect part CLS so clear the screen and then echo incorrect pass pause and then exit so now let's save this I'm going to name this uh, if not dot bat. Then select all files. And now let's test this out. Okay, so it says enter password right there. And the titles if not command, which we set right up here in on the title command. Okay, so let's uh, let's actually go over the code and see if it actually works. So let me enter the right password, so hi. Let me click enter, and it says correct pass. And now, so it, I just typed in hi right here. So I typed in hi, it ran this command, so it went to correct. And corrects right here. So it cleared the entire screen, echoed correct pass, then it paused, which says press any key to continue. Now it should exit, so it never gets to this part. So if I press a key, it should exit. As you can see, it really did exit. So now let's try an incorrect password. So, let's type in something random, and let's click enter. As you can see, it says incorrect pass, because we never typed in uh, hi, so it went to incorrect, which is right here. So it said incorrect pass, now if I press a key, it should exit. So that's basically how the if not command uh, works. Now, if you want them to continuously keep trying if they get the password wrong, you just need to put go to A, and then set A right at the very top and then save it and then just run it again so as you can see if I type in something random and click enter it'll say incorrect pass and when I press another key it'll say enter password and I can type in it'll keep saying incorrect pass if I don't type in the right password then if I put in hi it should say the right password yep it says correct pass now if you didn't know this yet I'll actually explain it to you a uh, batch is actually a um, caps lock uh, sensitive scripting language. So 
that's why when I typed in hi without the H as a capital, uh, it actually didn't read this command. So just keep that in mind. Uh, capitals in batch files really do count. It's a very sensitive language. So thanks for watching this lesson. If you have any questions, please do ask, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next lesson. Thanks for watching.